possible. It comes after President Zelensky recently sacked every regional recruitment head after officials were accused of taking bribes and intimidation. Our Ukraine correspondent James Waterhouse reports. It's okay to be scared. This is the latest messaging campaign from Ukraine's military. It wants people to give their details so they can be called on if needed. But what if they don't want to? The system is very outdated. Yehor, not his real name, is one of them. He's not happy with how the army finds its soldiers. It's like Soviet times. Recruiters using these methods now is unacceptable. Mobilization is why most men under 60 can't leave Ukraine. Here, drafting officers raid an arcade in the Kyiv region. They hand out notices, ordering them to sign up. Russia's invasion means Ukraine is constantly trying to replace soldiers. But with tens of thousands killed and even more injured or exhausted, the demand is not being met with just volunteers. But there are big questions over how it calls men up, with officials being accused of intimidation and helping some escape the country for cash. There are exemptions, including poor health, but not for just not wanting to fight. Yohor watched his father suffer with mental health issues after serving in Afghanistan with the Soviet army. Each situation is individual. The fact it's written in the Constitution that all male citizens must fight is, in my opinion, not in line with today's values. Thousands of men try to avoid the draft, either through tip-offs or leaving the country illegally, unless they're caught. Good evening. Where are you going, says this border guard. Ukrainian defence officials are usually easier to engage with. This is clearly a sensitive subject. We've been refused interviews, access with drafting officers, so we're going to go to them. At the unveiling of the Defence Ministry's latest information campaign, an admission of problems which need fixing. I understand that people will be afraid of fighting on the front line, but I put it to you that they're also afraid of a recruitment system that's been accused of corruption, of not always following the law. Do you understand why people don't trust the system? Corruption in the recruitment centers is unacceptable and shameful. But we should not forget that behind all that outrage, which is completely fair, there are two components of our victory – weapons and people. And the mobilization process is what provides that. In an abandoned Kyiv summer camp, civilians are trained in combat. The guns and grenades might be pretend. But there is a hope people like Anton will volunteer for the real thing. Are you scared about that idea in any way? Of course. Of course. Well, as uh, every person, I'm scared. I'm scared to hell. There is no chance uh, I will be sitting here uh, in Kyiv if, uh, if the situation is worse. The Ukraine of today is fighting for its tomorrow. A country united by wanting to survive, but also grappling with the fact that the battlefield is not for everyone. James Waterhouse, BBC News, Kyiv.